Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Boardsy and this is going to be a brief history of wireless sensors and gaming mice, obviously covering from like 2020 until now, which happens to be when I got into mouse reviews, but also when wireless mice um, kind of became prominent. So the earliest date we're gonna be covering is when the Razer Viper Ultimate released in late 2019, pretty much 2020, um, with the Viper Ultimate. So that mouse was using a 3399 sensor, which is in the same generation as a 3395, which all other companies got access to in 2023. So 2021 and 2022, we were really coping with the 3335, 3370 sensors. A well-implemented 3370 is okay, but I mean, a 3335, it's just a fucking joke sensor. I was one of the most outspoken haters of it when it was out. People were like, oh, you can't tell a difference. I was fucking vindicated with the 3335. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make this chart. Originally, I made it for TikTok, but now that I have it handwritten with my beautiful handwriting, I'm like I might as well show it off to YouTube as well, kind of explain how Razer's exclusivity on sensors works. So pretty much for two years at a time, they get the best latest generation PixArt sensor exclusive to their own mice. So like I said, started out with the Viper Ultimate and then in 2022, when the Viper V2 Pro released, they had the 3950 sensor, which we are just now seeing other companies get access to with the Beast X Max, some ATK mice, just wait until the summer for like Pulsar, Lamzu, Endgame Gear, those type of companies to use it. And really the point I'm trying to make is that there are differences between these sensors. It's like monitor refresh rate. Like if you can't see it, that's not my problem. Like I, I enjoy having precise, tight, accurate, stable feeling mouse input. And obviously the latest generation PixArt tech does a good job with that. So I just wanted to make this to like kind of put it into perspective to people who are like, oh, it's just marketing. Like clearly over time, at, especially for non-Razer companies, the wireless tech is just substantially better than it was even a few years ago. And now we have, we've seen with the Viper V3 Pro, Razer's latest sensor release. I was under the impression it was a 3970 because that's what the inner elite like mouse cabal was saying um, but my initial impression when I took apart my unit was that it was just like a some type of modified 3950 so nobody really knows what Razer's latest tech is at the current moment um, but you can just assume that the other companies will get access to it in like early 2026 which is just fucking crazy to think about um, and yeah the one exception to this is of course Logitech who nobody really knows like they're very secretive about their tech there's some people on Billy Billy which is like Chinese YouTube who seem to have a good understanding I think the original sensor like on the G Pro wireless was based off the 3366 but like the modern sensor on the GPX2, I doubt it's using the same. It's just very interesting how really nobody knows about Logitech. And some people harp on my channel for not doing like in-depth reviews. Like where, who are the in-depth reviewers telling you what type of tech Logitech's using? But yeah, that's really all for this video. I think I explained the uh, chart to the best of my ability. We're now in the beautiful year 2024 where companies have access to 3950. So I can only imagine um, once those first few implementations like the kinks are taken out, um, that this is just going to be the best wireless tech has ever felt. I'm not calling 3395s bad, but in the future, it's going to be an outdated sensor. People are simply going to just go away from it in the same way they did 3370s when those were the go-to sensor on the market. So if you enjoyed this video, this little history lesson, this information that other YouTubers are not telling you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more reviews in the future. If you guys have any other questions about sensors, like part numbers, MCUs, all of that stuff, I probably won't answer them, but you can leave them in the comments below. Peace out.